Hello everyone and welcome back to our Angular tutorial series. In today's episode, we will be diving into a fundamental aspect of web development, changing the background color in Angular. It might sound simple, but understanding how to manipulate the DOM and styles in Angular can be a valuable skill for any developer. This is my simplest Angular project that is currently running in my browser and this is the project I am using in my VS Code. So let's start. I'm going to use very basic and easy example just to explain that how to change background color. So let's create a div and I will just add hello world and add some styles here. Okay, now, right now I just added the background color by using the SCSS file. So I hard coded this style. So let me remove this from here. I will show you different ways that you can use to apply the background color. Second option is that you can just simply add a style tag and add background color, green or whatever. And next method is that you can define a variable in the app component or in the whatever component you're using color and give it any random color, whatever you want to add. And now wrap it like this and make sure to add it in single quotes and this string should be coming from the variable color so let's do that i will now use the concatenation plus plus uh, actually just plus and here i will use color okay now you can see we have the red color if you want to change the color just come here and change it it will be reflected immediately Another option is that uh, just add style style dot dot background color red okay so in this way you can add the color so this is the way to uh, apply styles so for example you just add style and put dot and then the style name if there are dashes in the style name then you have to replace dash with this uh, and it should be camel case like this then it will work so now you can simply pass the color name as well here instead of hard coding it okay so next option is that you can add a style here and add pass an object and here you will specify the name of the property that you want to add like i want to add background color and it should be red you can see that it has been applied so in this way you can add multiple styles in one line so like you want to add, change the color as well for that you can do this okay so again you can pass the dynamic variable as well like we did earlier next so another approach is that you can use classes as well for example i have a class like active bg or whatever class orange and now you can simply give it that class active okay uh let me see something is wrong active bg okay all right so other than that 
uh, you can also make changes in the color as well uh, from the JavaScript. For example, right now the color is uh, whatever is defined here. But let me save it first. But if I click on the hello world, then I should change the color. So let's do that. Click color is equal to orange. So in this way, I'm accessing that property of my component and I am replacing its value with the new one orange. So now let's save it and give it a try. You can see I clicked on that and it changed the color. Other than that, you can also apply the colors based on condition as well. So for example, here I can check that. I, I will first define some value. One, two, three. So you can have any kind of value. And here you can check if value is equal to one, two, three, then use color. Otherwise, use orange or whatever. Okay, I, I was expecting to make it number, so that's why it was not working. Now we are comparing it with number, so there is no type error. Okay, now we are checking if value is equal to one, two, three, then use the color provided from the uh, color variable. Otherwise, use the color that we defined here. So right now it is using the color from this variable because value is equal to one two three but if you make a change in this value it will be different and in that case it will use a different background color other than that you can pass the entire object from the component class so like uh, styles is equal to and here you can add background color red and then you can pass this object to this style as it is okay now you will see that it is still working okay you can also use an input to pick the to get the value for the color and you can pass it to the div and it will use that color so let's give it a try for that i need to import a reactive form so that i could get the value of the input actually i will just use a simple forms modules it is not a reactive form but it will just work i will use make use of ng model so here i will add input type text placeholder uh, enter your color code we have ng model here and we are using color code a property that we are going to define now so open the component class and let's define that so by default i am giving it green value okay so you can see it is green here but if i make a change uh, but i'm still not using this so to make that possible let's remove it and add background color and now you can use color code uh, as it is. Okay, now let me change the color. You can see as soon as I change the color, the color has been updated. Gray, black, or blue, whatever you will type, it will set that color code. Next, and the last thing that I want to cover is that you can in some cases you may want to uh, access the dom element and set the uh, color code directly from there so for that we need to use a view child view child and here i will give it the name of the tag that i'm going to target i'm going to target the input and i will give it the name input I'm giving it the type element reference and let's make it optional for now okay now uh, i will create a button change color and if somebody clicks on that we will change the color of that input uh, of that background actually i did this wrong i should not target the input i should have targeted the div element 
instead of using id i will use template reference variable i will use hash container so now this is my template reference variable now here instead of using this one i would give it the name of the my template reference variable that i just defined here and it is a container this time and also right now our uh, container is not wrapped inside any element parent element that is using ng if or there is no ng if uh, on this div that's why we can simply use the static true but if it is inside uh, but if we are using some kind of ng if on it then it is recommended to use the static false so as now i'm using static true that's mean i can access my element within ng on in it but if you are using static false and uh, your component will be ready to be accessed uh, your L uh, your tag or whatever you are trying to access will be available to access after your component is loaded so for that in both cases if you are if it is false so so if you are trying to use false then you have to implement the after view in it but if you are using true then you you can use ng on in it okay now we need to implement this so here i will add ng on in it and now i will try to get that container so let's see in the console this dot container dot native element okay now let's uh, save it and see in the console in the console you can see that this div is being consoled that we are trying to access that's mean now we have access to that dom element so you can now directly change anything in that dom element so if you have knowledge and experience of javascript of uh, about how to manipulate the dom elements by using javascript syntax you can easily uh, do the rest of the work very easily so for example here i will add styles dot background color red so to get rid of this error message uh, we should add if this dot container then it will not throw any error right now it is unable to update it because we already have added the style here so i'm going to get rid of that and with that it should work so you can see that now you can simply add any color here and it will be applied there and if you check in the inspect element you will see that that color has been applied you can also now use the, the variables as well if you want to this dot color code all right congratulations you have successfully learned how to change the background color in angular this simple example demonstrates some essential angular concepts including component creation event handling and dom manipulation feel free to experiment further with this project you can add more features like changing text color or integrating it into a larger application if you found this tutorial helpful then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more angular tutorials and web development content if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials then please leave them in the comments below